Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I have invited Shomya. So hello Shomya, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. And in this video, we will talk everything about Nagalo. So hello Shomya, could you please give me your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you? Yeah, sure, Amritanjali. First of all, thanks a lot for having me here on your YouTube channel. So, okay, so I'm starting with a quick introduction of mine. So currently I'm working as a software engineer at Brilio. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about my own interview experiences at Nagaro. Other than this, I believe that maybe some of you must be knowing about me. So I do have a YouTube channel of mine named as Study with Swamya. I hope that um, Amritanjali will be providing the link in the description. So do check it out and um, yeah, so like is Amritajali, even I am creating content on technical stuff and all. So that's all. Yeah, so actually I personally watched some of our video and she's creating a really great content. So I will put the YouTube link in the description. So please check out the description. So Soumya, the first question, very first question I want to ask here, like, could you please share how you got interview opportunity from Nagaro? Yeah, sure. So basically this opportunity I came to know from one of my seniors. So there was a post on the LinkedIn itself that this is a hiring, uh, you know, this is a women hiring basically in Nagaro. So she told me about this opportunity. She shared me a form which I just provided, like I filled all the information that was mentioned in the form and I applied for the same. So yeah, that's how I got the opportunity. Yeah, that's really great. So could you please share your interview experience? Sure. So I'll be sharing all the rounds that I went through. So in my case, there were some rounds for, I must say, additional rounds were there. So it is started with an online assessment where there were questions from data structure and aptitude. So I must say the questions were kind of good from the data structure part. It wasn't like basic output based question and all those kind of questions were not there. They were purely from data structure like a searching, sorting, graph tree and uh, the questions were based on these concepts and aptitude was there. So overall the difficulty level I would say that was medium and later on the next round was coding round. So in coding round there were three questions. One was easy, medium and uh, and there was difficult. So at that time, I came to know that the cutoff is two coding questions that we have to solve. Only then we'll be shortlisted for further round. But I'm not sure nowadays they have they have become sort of flexible with the questions. But from for my time, there were two questions. So I was able to solve two coding questions. Uh, one was fairly easy, and there was medium, I believe, from matrices or what, and and there was from tree. So I solved two questions. But uh, or usually what happened, they do have a next technical round after the coding round. But I believe they must have, a, you know, have a certain criteria that these many candidates are going to hire and maybe more candidates were shortlisted for the next round. That's why they conducted another coding round for us. So there was another coding round. Again, I would say there were three coding questions, one easy, one medium and one difficult. Uh, in this case, in this particular exam, I was able to solve two questions of uh, like they were like all the test cases and everything got passed. And in the third question, I was uh, able to solve it partially. So I was pretty sure about that. I'll be getting the, you know, technical round mail or what. So I started preparing for the same. And obviously I got the mail for the technical round. So I must say that uh, in the technical round as well, they were focusing mainly on the data structure part. So as usual. It started with a normal introduction. So I introduced uh, about myself. Uh, I give a quick introduction of mine to the interviewer and then the questions started. So first of all, he asked me about uh, like sorting and searching questions uh, related like he asked me about quick sort algorithm. Like how does it work about implementation, best possibility, you know, worst case, best case and further modification. So this kind of question were twisted around on the basis like on this particular algorithm, algorithm only. And then he asked me about my project that was on machine learning. So overall description, overall idea about the project I gave to him that this is how we implemented and all those things about my role and all the stuff. Some questions again from machine learning was there uh, relatable to my project only. And then he asked me some OOPS related concepts as well. Some tricky question based on OOPS only. Then he asked me about design pattern as well. So I wasn't having that much understanding. I was able to, you know, ask, able to answer one or two questions, I believe, from the design pattern. And some other technical questions were there. They were from SQL. So he asked me some SQL queries as well. And 
yeah that's i believe that this uh, technical round was 20 to 25 minutes and uh, then uh -huh. and then on the same day itself i got a call for the next round that was for the hr interview so generally what happen in nagaru like if you are able to clear the technical round so mostly they do schedule your hr round on the same day itself so i got a call for the hr round and uh, then hr round was just 5 to 6 minutes only where he asked me about like um, where do you see yourself where do you see yourself in in terms of coding in your if you are comparing yourself with your classmates or what have you participated in any, any hackathon or some basic hr related queries were there so that was fairly easy hr round one and um, after a few days i got this yeah so that's really a great experience like uh, you have shared each and everything in very clear manner so yeah thank you thank you for that and uh, the last question i want to ask like as you have mentored lots of a student what i can see uh, from your youtube also you used to put lots of content at youtube, uh, youtube and uh, at linkedin also so could you please share what are the, what type of question you are asked from the student and what are some advice you want to give to the student who are watching this video um so for questions i would say nowadays students are already very smart they do, they do know what to do what not to do in terms of advice just one thing i would like to mention ki um, nowadays the students are taking too much pressure because now abhi kya ho raha hai ek bahut hi zyada competition ka environment ban gaya hai initially when there was not lockdown and all many students were busy in their college and doing the college related stuff but abhi what i can see it on the linkedin itself many many students are doing dev related work many are doing coding or what so i would say ki all those things should not you know disturb your mental peace to jo bhi karna hai aaram se karo enjoy karke karo jo bhi aapko acha lagta hai wo karo and yeah koi pressure nahi lena hai so that's what i would like to mention Uh, yeah, this is really important. Like, uh, पैसे तो आप बाद में भी कमा लोगे लेकिन मेंटल पीस अगर भी अगर स्ट्रेस लोगे तो बहुत प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी तो so, इसलिए सबसे फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी आपका हेल्थ होनी चाहिए आपका मेंटल पीस होनी चाहिए सेकंड प्रायोरिटी आप रखो आप मेहनत करोगे तो ऑफकोर्स आपको बेनिफिट एंड आपको रिजल्ट तो जरूर दिखेगी या सो विद दिस नोट आई वॉन्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइक एक्सेप्टिंग माई इन्विटेशन सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो सोमयाज चैनल या सो दैट्स थैंक यू सो मच बाय Thank you so much. Bye.